Hi, I'm James, and this is my family. Lynn, Athena, Pierce. So we got a Tesla Model X at the beginning of the pandemic, and because it has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, we were thinking, hey, we should get a camper, like a trailer for it. We found out that towing electric was feasible, but it does cut down your range by a bit. And we found out the, the most important factor was the aerodynamics. And we found out about this trailer called the Bolus Road Chief. We called up the Bolus people and they had a road chief for us. Which is crazy, during the pandemic, all the RVs were back ordered. We went to Airstream and they just didn't have any. They were gonna be eight months out before they could build you one. And we called Bolus, and they had one Bolus road chief. We decided to go on a road trip. It was the summer of 2021. And we had taken a road trip along the rugged shores of California into Oregon. Before we headed up the coast, we wanted to practice using this road we went to Joshua Tree initially just to do our first test with our Model X Polis Road Chief combination. We had to learn how to hitch and tow and we had to learn a lot. We had our knees come out. The first trip was to some BLM land, Bureau of Land Management land in Joshua Tree BLM. Joshua Tree free camping area. It's called Dispersed Camping, where you can just camp for free. This is so cool. Look at Bola. You just pack in and pack out what you got. You know, as long as you leave it better than you left it, then you're already okay. We decided to go with the solar route, and we bought a Blue Eddy AC 200P for bank of batteries. The AC200P could also crank up 2,000 watts of energy at, at a time. So you could run a microwave or an espresso machine and we were able to like take care of our electricity needs with the Blue Eddy. And to replenish it instead of, you know, using a generator or anything, we got solar panels. The Blue Eddy requires it requires at least 35 volts before it starts charging. And these are 18 volts to put in series to start charging. 18 times 2 is 36 volts. And that's enough to start charging it. Also, the capacity is 2 kilowatt hours, 2,000 watt hours, which is decent. It's a decent amount of energy. Anyways, we were in Joshua Tree and we had a water problem. We went to the ranger station at Indian Cove. Conspiracy. <laughs> Last time my dad forgot to close a valve and we went all the way over to Joshua Tree. We noticed that we didn't have any water except for drinking water. After we flat there, we went to the ranger station and got water. We met Arjun who had a Porsche pulling a vintage RV camper. He gave us a bunch of tips. Very helpful. Thanks, Arjun. So we were ready to road trip up the coast. First stop was to Point Maku Missile Base, where they have a F-14 on display. Then it was onward to Santa Barbara, where we saw State Street and Stern's Wharf. Afterwards, we supercharged by Costco. After the charge, we headed up to Pismo Beach. It was a long trip, so we supercharged again. These superchargers, they tend to be commercial locations. This one was by an outlet. Pismo Beach Premium Outlets. Then we actually went to the beach. Pismo is famous for vehicles on the sand, so we played in the sand right there.
We overnighted at a location shown on the Bonafide Bus Channel. It was a spot with a view. Then we spent some time at Avila Hot Springs. We recharged in San Luis Obispo and continued up the coast. To Cambria, where we stayed, there aren't many options for Tesla supercharging in Big Sur. So we went to the one, and then we spent the day at Pfeiffer Beach. And then went into Monterey. We checked out Cannery Row and Old Fisherman's Wharf, and brunched at Crepes of Brittany before making our way around Monterey Bay into Santa Cruz. After staying in Santa Cruz for a little bit, we made our way up to Northern California's Bay Area. Visited some friends in Silicon Valley, Mountain View, in San Francisco. We went to Six Flags, saw the Golden Gate Bridge, Then we headed to a very special corner of the bay, a place I've never been to or even heard of. I visited my friend Thomas, also known as Hoon, and his family in Benicia, a magical place that's so worth the visit. As much as we loved Benicia, we had to continue our journey. We had to go north of the bay, which was a little mysterious, a little scary heading into parts unknown. I had to unhitch the bolus at the Ronant Park Supercharger. The first stop on the coast north of San Francisco was Gualala. It gave us a glimpse of the coastline north of the Bay Area. The coast there is a much different vibe than what we're used to in Southern California. After visiting Gualala, we headed up to Fort Bragg. We shuffled through these multicolored bits on Glass Beach. Onwards, we drove up to Devante Lookout. This is a private scenic point where the owner allows passersby to stay overnight at this beautiful overlook. Here we met Doug and Trini and their two kids, another RVing family, and quickly became friends. They even visited us at our home afterwards. Then we headed through the Redwoods, Humboldt Redwoods State Park. We charged at the mall in Eureka, after that, we stayed at the Trinidad Rest Area. It had facilities for RVs, water, dump stations. We again went to a beach, Wilson Creek Beach. 
a rocky coast, and black sand. You can stay overnight at the parking lot at De Martin Beach. Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox welcome you at Trees of Mystery, where you learn about redwoods and walk through the canopies. supercharged in Crescent City. Then drove past the state line into Oregon. That night we stayed at the beach by Pistol River. We charged in Bandon. These superchargers are pull-through style. They save us a lot of time. There's no need to unhitch. Bandon is beautiful. We visited Face Rock. Then we drove up to Whiskey Run. Went to Coos Bay and had amazing seafood at Shark Bites. We stopped to play and Piercy learned how to walk. It was time to head back home. After another supercharge in Bandon, we headed southbound. While supercharging once again in Crescent City, we spotted a schoolie, a school bus conversion. At the DeMartin parking lot, we overnighted next to that same schoolie. We walked through a drive through redwood tree. Supercharged in Laytonville, we visited the Francis Ford Coppola Winery in Geyserville in Sonoma County. Another supercharge in Daly City, we stayed at Pacifica Beach, Half Moon Bay's Poplar Beach. Another visit with Fatten, then we headed down the Interstate 5. We provisioned in Gilroy, supercharged at Harris Ranch while having steaks. At our final supercharger south of Bakersfield, this supercharger had no amenities except for bathrooms. Just a supercharger that had just opened in a field with nothing around it. After that, we had finally concluded our long electric road trip up the coast and we went home. Smash that like button. Subscribe, ring that notification bell. There will be more videos of our adventures in the future. Our next journey involves solar panels on the roof of the bolus. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace out.